morning YouTube people. Today we're back at Tuning Works in Croydon. Uh, we've been up here a few times. We're having the Racing Line Stage 1 engine and gearbox mats put on the car. If you've not seen the previous videos, go back and watch them. I did a couple of videos um, when we were standard and then I took the car, did a rolling road and a draggy and then we went for all the Racing Line intakes set up. So go and watch them few videos if you haven't watched them before you watch this one but today we're going stage one to stay tuned for this one we're going more power Just as we've come in, we've noticed a, a small puddle under the front. It smells of coolant, so we're just going to put it up on a ramp and see if we've got any sort of coolant leaks or any sort of issues there before we go any further. Side of the car is dry, so yeah, we are good to go. So, quick check of the car up on the ramp, and there's uh, there's no leaks underneath on the underside on the tray. All the hoses look dry, so it must have been a car that was there earlier, although they don't remember one being there earlier. So, I think we're in the clear and we're good to go. Just pick the car up. I'm going to go and give it a quick drive up the road, see what difference it's made, see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this little spin up the road. There was no issues, it flashed straight away. I was concerned earlier because there's, there's two little things on the car that makes you think it may have been tuned before. The uh, prop shaft has got some line up paint marks on it, so maybe that's been off for a, a downpipe or something. And uh, also, two of the bolts on the radiator are missing, which made us think there might have been an intercooler on them when they've changed it back to standard. They forgot to put the bolts on, but nothing came up on the uh, the file. It all loaded up okay. So let's go and give it a drive, and then we'll come back and pay the man. Oh, that's made a big difference. That is unbelievable. That is night and day between the uh, 318 horsepower I was running before. So we will get up uh, Surrey Rolling Road, get that on the rollers, see what difference it's made, and then we will get back out with a draggy and see what performance times, see what the difference is. All sorted. All paid up on the system with uh, racing line so when we want to change it to the uh, the next tune we can but probably what I'm going to do before that is it will need the brakes doing you definitely need to do the brakes so I'm going to change the order of stuff that I'm going to do and we'll probably the next video will probably be uh, getting the uh, racing line brakes upgraded but anyway now off to Surrey Rolling Road right it's a few weeks later now we've made it to Surrey Rolling Road the weather is absolutely pants. Uh, the car was spotlessly clean about an hour ago, but on the way down there, it's just a bit of the storm season at the moment, February. But we're here, we're gonna see what stage one difference makes with a 318.6, just with the um, racing line intake stuff on it. We're gonna see what difference the stage one makes. Uh, fingers crossed, and then we'll be out later on yes. doing some draggy runs when the weather clears up. So yeah, let's see what happens, eh? Be happy with that then. Yeah, 500, at, 500, 500 at the factory. Spot on. 552. This what you get. Yep, yeah, they all get. They all do 550. What are they meant to be? 500. 500. But they all do 550. They, they do come out of the factory with a lot yeah. more. I just wow. know these engines. They do. Why do they do that? Why do they understand it to get cheap insurance? What is the reason? I don't know. It's not been done up. It's not been standard. With a sports exhaust, and it sounds really good. Yeah. But I haven't changed anything yet. No, they're lovely cars, they're really, really nice cars. You got, have you got to be careful in the wet though? Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> you, just, you just turn the other way instantly. So I'll race you in the wet then, yeah? Ah, you'll be much quicker. <laughs> yeah. Much quicker. There's no doubt about it. It's amazing. I love those alloys. The exhaust. What exhaust is that? That's just a custom power flow to a different made for us. Those alloys, man. They're just too much. They're so powerful. Don't get it dirty. <laughs> I can't see it. Don't get it dirty. There you go. Oh, it's in the car. Great. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. See you later. I'll see you soon. Nice meeting you. <laughs> what a character he was, eh? Okay. So we're racing line stage one, and we just want to see if the intake makes any difference, or it just as a basic stage one, it'll get the, sta the standard power. We'll see. 365, I think they say it is. Be anything over 360. Yeah, we're sorry to see you. Yeah. There you go, there's me uh there's my previous map. That was the um the intake put up. You would have seen that in the previous videos, but if you haven't watched it, just go back and watch the earlier ones. And we're just getting strapped down. They don't recommend it on stage one, they just, as soon as you go stage two, no, but put the intercooler it on. Helps on stage one. But that's what, um, yeah. that and the downpipe will go on next. I can't, the fuel, I can't give you a fuel and print out because it blew the probe out, but I was watching it and the fuel is all fine. Cool, cool. Right, there you go then. So 363 horsepower power with a stage one. 370 foot pounds. 370 pound of torque. Yeah. I also want to do um, double wishbone front of the wheel. Well, here we go. What have you done to it? Remap. Remap. So, what are, what are they standard? 231. 231. And it's got like, stage one on it, isn't it? Yeah? Stage two. So, that got like intercoolers changes and stuff on it. You're right if I film it, yeah? Yeah. Nice one, eh? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Right. Right, so we're off the rollers. The car made 363.3 horsepower. And the interesting thing is on the second run, it actually made less, um, about 358, I think it made, which shows that the intercooler is at its maximum. It can only do one run, and then already the car's too hot. So it does show you that 
even for stage one, you might need an intercooler, but definitely when we go to stage two, it does need the 100% the intercooler to get the uh, the most out of the car. We're not going to be doing that right now because the next video is going to be uh, the brakes, and then once we've done the brakes, we will come back. But as soon as the weather's a bit better, I shall get out and do some draggy runs. So uh, yeah, that'll be next. Just out from a little trip in the Gulf. Um, that video, I'm not saying it's my Gulf, but we're just back. Um, stage one, all done. Draggy times, all done. Uh, let's go through the results and see what improvements it made. I've put on the screen my standard runs, um, the runs with the intake and with the stage one on it. So standard, you can see it was 445 and 433. The intake didn't make much difference. But um, having the stage one, we've gone to going out. I did a 0 to 60 of 4.18, and coming back, we managed to crack the four seconds and do a 3.90. I think it had more in it because it was only one degrees, and I noticed it was spinning, and it was changing uh, upper gear really early, so we wasn't getting full speed in each gear. So I think there's definitely more in it, but I'm only doing a, uh, one run each way. I'm not doing multiple runs. And for the uh, quarter mile. Standard, we did a 13.15 in one direction and a 12.61 coming back the other way. And with the intake stuff added, we improved a bit. We did a 12.86 in going out and exactly the same time, 12.61 coming back. But it's made a huge difference going um, stage one. We've got that down to 12.34 going out and 12.06 coming back. So not, not too far off the 11 seconds. And I think that was, if you look at it, we were doing 112 mile an hour one way and 113 mile an hour coming back. So it's picked up a lot there. So they are good, respectable times. I'm hoping to crack the 11s if I get up um, Santa Pod for a run with a, a better launch uh, and a nice surface as well. The uh, 100 to 200 going out, I did a 14.5 on a standard and a 13.99. We improved by three quarters of a second with all the intake stuff added. Uh, did a 13.78 and a 13.22. And with the stage one, we had a, a, a huge improvement. We've got that down to 10.9 in one direction and 10.6 coming back the other way. Um, so yeah, I've, as I've said in previous videos, I know that the, um, the slope is slightly invalid in one direction, but I'm doing these same locations just so I can uh, actually see what differences are made. Um, we are gonna have a rest now and I'm probably gonna get the brakes done as I've said earlier I think it's important that I go down that route and get that sorted But we will be going stage two and we will be coming back with these draggy times to see what that extra horsepower and torque uh, Does to these times so stay tuned. I will be back 